30 percent is another value so in these two discounts he is not able to decide whether i need to choose 30 percent or else successive discounts of 25 and 5 combination because she doesn't know how to calculate the successive discounts of 25 and 5 so if she knows she would be able to analyze this and compare with this so that she will get some final value what benefit she is getting out of these two discounts then she will decide which parameter right she needs to go so now that's what we need to find here actually Rhea has a clarity of 30 percent discount means 30 percent discount she knows but she don't know how to calculate these two successive discounts 25 and 5 so in the previous classes we discussed i told you one formula successive discounts x plus y plus x into y by 100 successive increase for this formula is what successive increments for a rectangle if the area is l into b if l increases with x percent and y, b increases with y, with y percent then what would be the resultant increase in its area for that formula is x plus y plus x into y by 100 but in case of discounts we will just put minus here so minus x plus minus y plus minus x into minus y is plus x y divided by 100 so we will use the same formula to find out the net discount for 25 percent and 5 percent so using that we will be able to identify the net discount so minus 25 minus 5 plus 25 into 5 125 divided by 100 okay so it is nothing but 1.25 1.25 so minus 30 plus 1.25 just leave it like that only and what is the actual other discount is minus 30 minus minus one is denoting minus nothing but discount so here minus 30 and minus 30 both are same so what is the major modification she's getting is 1.25 so 1.25 is a thing she should be able to see here extra 1.25 she's getting okay so that difference she need to go so given on shopping what is the total amount 3840 if she go with the second one she would be getting a benefit of 1.25 percent so what is that benefit what is that amount we will find actually for one percent you have to leave two digits and put point here so 38 point Four zero is one percent. This is one uh, percent. At eight point four zero. Now we need to find out twenty five. Yes, point two five. Point two five means first we uh, have to find out point two five. Half of half. I think that so half of this is nineteen point two zero. Again half of this. Again half of this means two nine eighteen. Two nine eighteen. To six and nine point six. So you just add nine point six to it. So then you get nine point six nothing but a point four point six is one. So you add that one to here, then it will become 